Hey Tubies, um, Bibsy and a broomstick and the dog and the cat and the other cat and everybody else. So bear with me if I get distracted quite a lot. So I wanted to talk to you all about something I'm guilty of which is Letting magic or spell work or ritual become more about what you need or what you don't have rather than what you do have and you don't need. Does that make sense? For instance, I see it a lot where spells are written. You must have two teaspoons of this and one of that and burn it on this at this and, and 24 purple candles and five black and and it, 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 it can just oh, it can just mess with your head it can confuse you it can confound you dumbfound you and generally put you off of wicca or spell work spell work let's say spell work for the sake of argument and then i don't want to upset anybody so yeah and that's something that's just it's a bugbear for me it bothers me because spell work should, it, it is ultimately about intention. It's about visualization, it's about belief, it's about knowing that you deserve what you're requesting of spirit, of universe, god, goddess, whoever your deities are. And deities, deities, yeah, I'm getting a picture pieces for that one too. Um, it's, it's, Spell work can be done with nothing, in a, in a way. You could, you could do spell work with just a candle on a dream. Do you know, for instance, when you're little, and you know, you, you, you're playing in the garden just before Christmas, and it's the innocent play and the belief of playing. You believe that you're gonna get the red balloon for Christmas, and you know, you send that intention to the universe that you're going to get to, to spirit that you're going to get the, the red balloon and it's got to happen for you and santa knows that you've been good and and it happens and you get the red balloon do, do, do you see what i'm trying to say to you um and especially to the younger viewers it's 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 so easy to get hooked up in needing hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of pounds for instance our sewing altar this year, um, we've got a, we're going to have a big altar. I've never had that luxury because I've never had a place as big as this. Yay, brilliant, cool. Um, and I suddenly realised that I needed four bowls, and they had to be four soapstone bowls, and it had to be this way, and there was no other way around it, and I had to find the forty pounds that these that these bowls are, and. And I realised actually that after all these years of spell work and intention work, I've learnt nothing. I've learnt absolutely nothing. That was so bratty. I could have gone to, I can go to a pound store and get four beautiful bowls for my altar for four pounds. So I guess what I'm trying to say to you guys, young, old, new, been in the way for 50 years, I think we all need reminding that it's not about what this person's got, what that book says, what this, you can always think around it, there is always a way to think around it. For instance, if you don't have a green candle, but you have green ribbon, try wrapping a white candle in green ribbon. It could work. It's your spell, it's your intention, it's not anybody else's intention it's it, it it's about you what you feel is right to do and is wrong to do it's about um it really is about in it, you know that the ground work of any spell work or any ritual is what's in your heart that's where it has got to come from and I think I'm doing this this video more as a, a form of um, self reminder than anything else that it's you know it's got to come from within before it can become without if you're with me from you know on the outside and 
a really good place to start is to just a, a good practice I find to do is to think to yourself okay let's think of rose petals what do rose petals make me think of now for me rose petals make me think of healing because you know roses are often given to heal an argument so that could be forgiveness as well hi Bella um, the cat <laughs> if I think of mint that's refreshing so that could mean a refreshing new change you could use you could use mint for, for a new change think you know see what you've got in your cupboards rifle through and see see what, say hi youtube come on missy get down um so you you think of you know what what things remind you of so for instance if you want to do a spell for For self-awareness and you sit and you think to yourself oh, okay the reasons I'm not so aware of myself or my surroundings are because I'm tired think of a pick-me-up for me a pick-me-up is always a cup of jasmine tea so hey why not use jasmine if you can find jasmine flowers or it's a jasmine tea bag it 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 really is a make do a men situation you do not have to break the bank to to do, to do any of this you, you you know you've got to find it from within for it to become without and you know another 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 good 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 thing for any any grounds of spell work i think it was charming pixie flora said you know as long as you've got grass and mud and water and air you've got everything you need for the basis of a spell it's it's what's in here and and she was right she is right and that's something that you know i know i certainly know i need to remind myself of so kids older people middle-aged been in the practice for 120 years just stop and think am i or or you know do i need this necessarily is everything going to be okay without it and just just know that it's going to happen. Just know, just believe it's going. You deserve it. You're beautiful. You're worth it. You're clever. You count. I know that. To know that is a really good basis for any spell, my love. And I don't care if you're Barack Obama or a backyard cat. You count. You're clever. You're beautiful. You're intelligent know this tell yourself this and everything else will follow just have confidence in spirit have confidence in the deities that your spell counts it's as important as anybody else's so yeah stop think reevaluate and if you don't need it you can think around it that's really a good process to do my loves and um, this is bibsy and her broomstick and the cat and the dog and everybody else signing out blessed be